looks like they are working on the roads. We might have our road finished this week. How convenient would that be? Looks like he's about to dump a bunch of gravel. I hope they get it leveled out before Christine gets home. That's right in front of the driveway. <laughs> All right, getting the fill dirt put on the road and getting it leveled out a little. Hopefully in the next day or two we'll have a road. What's up everyone, Rich at Revere Urban Homestead. It is Sunday, May 9th. First thing I wanna say is happy Mother's Day to all the moms out there. Give them a lot of love today, guys. So one thing on the agenda that's pretty important that we need to get done is rodent proofing my soffits. I did a lot of it um, maybe last year, but there's now a few spots that, are, that have holes that rodents can get in. And I did catch a couple of rodents up there in the attic with the traps. So let's get that remedied first. Let me show you what I'm talking about. So the first spot is where they redid my plumbing pipes. As you can see, it's going up there into the soffit, but there is a big hole right there. So we got to seal that up so rodents don't get in there. And also on the side of the house right here, I see some holes in the soffit. One right there and one at the end. And then here in the back of the house, I'm gonna rip this whole white thing down and we're gonna redo it, because even over here, well, I already kinda wired that in. That's right, I forgot about that. I thought this was open, but I actually hardware clothed it in the other, not too long ago. So that might be okay for now. Okay, now the last time I did rodent proofing, I got a big thing of the hardware cloth, a roll, and I just cut it with my reciprocating saw to about this big and then unrolled it, stapled it up. So I have some left, I believe. Yeah. Okay, so I have this roll left. See, it's all cut already to a nice size that I can use, and we'll use this to patch the side over there. And I do have some more left, and we can always cut this in half and use it to finish up the rest. So, first thing I gotta do is get the air compressor rolling, get my staple gun out, and we'll start on the side of the house. That's an easy one. All right, so I got my little air compressor all compressed up, ready to roll. Got my cool little pneumatic stapler here we're gonna use. Let's get it done. And let's get that sealed up. Okay, for some reason my pneumatic staple gun is not working. Um, I put on the brad nailer and that's working, so I don't know what's going on. Anyway, we'll try and do it with the handheld. I was planning on doing a long strip all the way across, but that strip that I have is not wide enough, so I didn't have no wood to get to on it. So I just did little patches like that, but that'll work for now. Okay, so that was the last spot I needed to rodent proof. Everything is now sealed up that we can see. Um, so now we can move on. Let's do it. The next item of business is the feed box. I have been noticing some seeds getting eaten in there. I set a trap in there the other day and I caught a rodent inside there. So I think they finally ate through somewhere and are be being able to get in. Let's take a look set this up and we caught one the other day let me just disengage these real quick
I haven't caught one since, but there was definitely signs of a rodent in here. Wow, look at this. <laughs> they totally chewed through my dang feed scooper. Wow. Yep. I found it. Check this out. I found where they're at. Look at that. Can you see that hole right there? Right through the Rubbermaid. It took them a little while to do, but they finally did it. Wow. Look at all this chewed up seed that they ate. <laughs> Chewing holes through all the feed bags I have in here that I use. Dang it. Let me get this swept out and we're going to look and see if there's any other places that they have holes. Whoa. I don't want to disturb that. It's getting right there. Don't touch them. I was getting ready to remove all these feed bags out of here, but look at what I saw. Those are a couple little gecko eggs. So we're gonna leave them alone and not mess with them. Okay, so I'll just sweep around the other area. A lot of seeds and plastic. So anyway, I'll be able to seal up the hole really easy. I might just use something like that for now. A paver and a, a rat trap just to block the hole. But what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna set up the traps down at the bottom and see how many of these little butt heads I can catch before I seal the hole. Hold that knife for me. Okay. Oh, it's gonna be a trap. All right, so we're gonna put a little peanut butter in here. They love peanut butter. And I didn't have any wild bird seeds, so what I got is some of my microgreen sunflower seeds. Put there, they'll like that. But they don't know it's a trap. <laughs> we'll set that right there for them, maybe a couple more seeds. Then, they might have a little food, but then. And then I'm going to reset these as well. A little more fresh peanut butter. Fresh peanut butter. Seeds. Seeds. Fresh peanut butter. Some seeds. Voila. That looks disgusting. All right. So maybe we'll get a couple more rats before I seal that hole. I did go buy a fresh bag of feed, but I'm not going to put that in there right now. So we'll revisit this if I get, after I maybe kill more of these rodents. Then we'll seal that up so they don't get in here anymore. So what do you think? Um, good plan. Good plan? Yep. Alright, cool. How's it look? Good, because if they come running, they'll be like, ooh, so cool. Watch your fingers away. Alright, let's close it up. Alright, next thing on the agenda is taking down the banana plant that has those big old bananas on it. They're ready to come off and that plant needs to get out of there just to let some more light in to all the other pups. It's a big banana plant. Let's get it down. Boy, them blue jays are being loud. Well, you can listen to them while I attempt to get this big old plant down. So these bananas have been going all winter long, so I don't even know if they're going to be good. I'll hang them up in the garage for a while and see what happens with them. I'm just going to kind of cut it up a little bit to help it uh, compost. It'll compost right into the banana bed. Now 
enjoying that dust bath? <laughs> While I have the saw out, I need to get rid of these random bamboo shoots that are coming up everywhere. So getting rid of that big banana plant, really open that center up. We'll get some more light back here for these little pups. But as you can see, we have quite a few banana plants growing, looking really good. We might get quite a few bananas this summer, we'll see. Also on this species of bananas, we have a couple. These are the, I think the Cavendish or Cavendolph or something like that. There's another pup right there, mature plant. This one over here has some little tiny bananas on it. They didn't really produce too much though, but we'll let it roll for a little bit. And then there's a pup right back there behind this one. So if those bananas don't start like puffing up, filling out and stuff like that, we'll cut that one down. That'll give that one way more light as well. But yeah, my bananas are looking really good. Remember when I started planting bananas, it was like five years, six years ago, five years ago, something like that. They were just little guys, little pups. And now I really have an established uh, banana patch. I love it. So another thing I want to do is I want to go collect some chicken manure and put it inside of our compost that we are building in the bend just to give it more nitrogen and some enrichment as far as the chicken manure. So let me go in the coop and get some goodies. I'll water it in later. All right, so check out the peppers, man. We got three pots of all the serranos are up. We have some poblanos that sprouted now, and there's another one coming in there. And then on these three, these were the cubanel. We got two going already, one more right there. Nothing in that pot, but, so now we do have some germination on the peppers, so that's exciting. The other watermelon are doing pretty good. They'll be going into that, uh, that watermelon patch next week or the week after. All right, guys, so being it's already Sunday, it is Mother's Day. I'm going to have to call this video quit and go hang out with Mama for the day. Yesterday, we went out on our friend's boat. It was awesome. Had the whole day out on the boat, sunshine. Tyler was fishing. He caught five fish. It was awesome. We had a great time. He was actually in the water at a sandbar, and two big manatee came swimming right up to him. It was pretty cool. But anyway, good day yesterday on the water, a lot of sun. We knocked out a few things around here that I needed to get done, but that's about it. I'm still doing laundry and everything, but it's Mother's Day. I'm gonna go hang out with the wife and just relax and chill. So then we're gonna barbecue some steaks later. But that's it. We are rodent proofed. We have the trap set in the feed box before I seal it up. The pepper plants are finally starting to sprout. It's good. Everything's going good, man. Oh, we got them banana harvest down. We got that big banana plant down, so that's good. Everything's looking good. We'll talk to you guys next weekend. Bye.